Everyone knows about the Holocaust, but do you know what happened inside the camps? The Holocaust started in 1933 and ended in 1945. It was a mass murder of 6 million European Jews and members of other persecuted groups, such as gypsies and homosexuals. During World War II, a number of German physicians conducted painful and often deadly experiments on thousands of concentration camp prisoners without their consent. Auschwitz Auschwitz was a concentration camp complex. It included three different camps. The first was the main camp, which held prisoners from 1940 to 1945. The second Auschwitz camp was Birkenau. It was the largest extermination camp that was run by Nazi Germany during the Holocaust. The last camp, Monowitz, was a large forced labor camp. There were prisoners that were worked as slaves, and most of the time they were worked to death. Dachau. The Dachau concentration camp was established in March 1933. This camp was the first regular concentration camp that was established by the National Socialist Government. Heinrich Himmler described the camp as the first concentration camp for political prisoners. In Dachau, as in other Nazi camps, German physicians performed medical experiments on their prisoners. They conducted high-altitude experiments, malaria and tuberculosis experiments, hyperthermia experiments, and they tested new medications. The prisoners were forced to test methods of making seawater potable and of halting excessive bleeding. Handicapped Experiments During the war, Hitler said, This is the best time for the elimination of the incurably ill. The physically and mentally handicapped were viewed as useless to society. Individuals who were physically or mentally ill and unstable were targeted for murder. Handicapped infants and small children were killed. They were injected with deadly doses of drugs or by starvation. The bodies were burned in large ovens called crematorias. There were public protests in 1941. The Nazi leaderships continued this cruel and deadly program in secret throughout the war. There were about 200,000 handicapped people that were killed between 1940 and 1945. The T4 program became the model for the mass murder of Jews, Roma, and others in camps equipped with gas chambers that the Nazis would open in 1941 and 1942. This program also served as a training ground for SS members who manned these camps. Joseph Mengele Joseph Mengele was the main doctor that performed medical experiments on many prisoners. They focused on twins, dwarves, and people with physical disabilities. All of the experiments that were performed were very cruel, deadly, and painful. Mengele castrated some prisoners without using any anesthetics. Many women and men died during these experiments. He also was in charge of the camp's hospitals, but these hospitals were very different. The doctors were other prisoners. They tried to help prisoners that were sick and hurt, but they had no medical supplies or medication. They didn't even have running water. If their patients didn't get better quickly, Mengele would send them to the gas chambers, or Nazi doctors would kill them by injecting them with Sinol. Joseph had become interested in utilizing twins for medical research through Venture. He was famous for experimenting with identical and fraternal twins in order to trace the genetic origins from various diseases. High Altitude Experiments these experiments were carried out to see how long people could withstand the loss of air pressure. The prisoners were put into pressure chambers to replicate what could happen at high altitudes. Many suffered and some died. This was meant to determine what altitude Air Force personnel could bail out of an airplane. Freezing Hypothermia These experiments were conducted on men to simulate the conditions that the Army suffered on the Eastern Front. Thousands of German soldiers died of freezing or were debilitated by the cold injuries. The experiments were conducted under the command and supervision of Dr. Sigmund Rajarat. They were performed in Birkenau, Dachau, and Auschwitz. The freezing experiments were divided into two parts. The first part was to establish how long it would take to lower the body temperature to death. The second part is how to best resuscitate the frozen victims. The two main methods that were used to freeze the victims were to put the person in an icy vat of water or to put the victim outside naked in sub-zero temperatures. The method with the water vat was proven to be the fastest way to drop the body temperatures of the victims. The people that were chosen for this experiment were young and healthy Jews and Russians. The second way to freeze a victim was to strap them to a stretcher and place them outside naked. The extreme weathers of Auschwitz made a natural place for this experiment. Hot bath the prisoners were placed in warm water. The temperature would slowly rise. This method was proven to be the best way to
to perform this experiment. Many of the victims died due to shock that they were warmed up too quickly. Experiments with Twins The twins were examined from head to toe. Every inch of their body was measured. Dr. Mengele demanded that the twins were carefully examined. After all the living data was collected from the twins, they would be killed. The doctors would give them a single injection of chloroform to the heart. The two twins would be killed at the same time together. They would be dissected and their organs would be sent to research centers. Dr. Mengele experimented on as many as 1,500 sets of twins. Only about 200 managed to survive the tests. The Hungarian Twins Two Hungarian twins arrived at Auschwitz in 1943. Dr. Mengele ordered that the twins were to be placed in the examination room. The examinations started at the head. The head examinations took days. They were completely x-rayed. The next part of the examinations consisted of tubes being forced through their noses into their lungs. They were ventilated with gas, which caused them to cough uncontrollably. The twins received several liters of enemas, which caused them much pain and discomfort. On different days, they would be strapped over a bench and their rectums were hyperdescended after which they received an extensive lower gastric intestinal examination. This procedure was performed without any anesthesia. Next day, they received a painful and humiliating urological examination. In this examination, tissue samples were taken from the kidneys, prostate, and testicles. Several seam samples were forcefully taken over two days. They were dissected and their organs were sent to the Institute of Biological, Racial, and Involuntary Research in Berlin. Seawater Experiments At one of the concentration camps, the doctors conducted an experiment that tested the effects of seawater on the human body and if it can be made drinkable. A group of 20 Romani people were given nothing edible but seawater for approximately two to three months. Historians noted that subjects suffered from such severe dehydration that they were even observed drinking freshly mopped floors in the hope of finding left traces of drinkable water. Bone, muscle, and nerve transplants. They wanted to know about the possibilities of bone, muscle, and nerve regeneration. They extracted the bones, nerves, and muscles using no anesthesia. The subjects suffered mutilation, sheer agony, and permanent disability. Head injury experiments. Above his head, a mechanical hammer came down and hit his head at intervals of every few seconds. These experiments were carried out in a small building behind the house of a Nazi doctor. It involved strapping a young boy to a chair so that his movements could be restricted. The torture, it goes unsaid, drove the boy insane. Malaria Experiments After they received the injections, they were given many drugs to test their efficiency. Nazis wanted to test if there was a cure for malaria. They injected prisoners with extracts of mucus glands from female mosquitoes. Soviet soldiers approached Auschwitz in January of 1945, so prisoners were taken on a death march. The remaining prisoners were liberated on January 27, 1945. No one knows the exact number of victims that were experimented on and how many lost their lives. There are 15,754 documented victims. There are more victims that were affected, but some of the experiments were done in secret. The conflict is all the experiments that were conducted on innocent bystanders. The doctors did horrible things. They would perform experiments on people for their own personal enjoyment. There was information that was collected that is relevant today. While the experiments were being conducted, all of the information was documented. The compromise is focusing on the medical experiments that are now conducted. They have medical reasoning and the patients give their consent. The experiments that are performed are for furthering medical knowledge and they are conducted to help and save others. The Nazi doctors thought that, quote, the prisoners are going to be killed anyway, so why not kill them in a way that is beneficial for us, end quote. Millions of innocent people died because of this horrible event that shaped the future and changed history forever.